Hi, I'm sure a lot of you are very excited to start donating for the Gitcoin round 10 and I'm pretty sure it's going to be amazing, you know, in terms of the rewards you're going to get for donating to this particular course. But of course, you would understand it's not business as usual as the quadratic um, team that's powering this donation has actually set up a set of rules for engagement and the reason behind this is for sustainability and to ensure everyone has you know equal opportunity in terms of receiving the grant it has as well come to their notice that a lot of persons want to kind of game the system with what is known as um sibyl attack so that's why this verification process is very important so i'm going to be taking you through a series of steps that will actually make it easier for you to you know verify your account and then you'll be eligible for this um grant donation now the cibre attack it's actually um a two-way thing and that's one uh, one of it is that a lot of persons actually create multiple identities or multiple projects, you know, and it really will not be, you know, cool for the system. So if you've actually clicked on the description, that's the link that I shared in this video. All right. You have to scroll down. All right. When you scroll down now, when you get to this place, you know, where you're seeing Gitcoin page, you click on it. Now, before you do this, you should ensure you have created a GitHub account, all right? Because that will be required in this entire process. So ensure you've created a GitHub account, all right? If you've not created that, you can go to github.com to create an account for yourself. All right, so after you've done that, the next thing you're expected to do here is to click on this uh, three bar, this three horizontal um, bar that is circled here, right? So you click on it. After you've clicked on it, the next thing is for you to, if you've not connected your wallet, you click on it, you connect, right? And of course, it will be your private wallet. I've already connected mine. And then here is the Gitcoin, uh, my Gitcoin username. That's why I asked you to create your Gitcoin um, account, right? So if you've already created your Gitcoin account, you'll be expected to log in and then your username would show here, right? So at this point, you're expected to click on that username all right and then you scroll down again and then you click on my account so when you click on my account you scroll down again all right and then next you click on profile you click on profile sorry that's setting you click on profile which is this all right so you click on profile it's loading right that's good when you click on profile you go down and the next option you would click on now is trust bonus now the essence of doing all of these things is to um kind of show the system that you're not a robot right so there would be a series of steps you need to um, go through like it stated here you need to increase your impacts by up to 150 percent on gitcoin verified use on gitcoin verified users on gitcoin verified users have 100 percent or more of their donations amount sorry whereas on verified users begin with um 50 percent so by default your trust bonus will be 50 percent right if, if you want to know more about why this verification matters you can go ahead to click on the video and you know you'll see for yourself right i'm still undergoing the verification process so i've gotten up to 65 percent so i still have more to go right now on the trust verification um verified users have 100 percent or more of their donation amount towards um the match fund algorithms 
so it's very important you go through this process so here are a um, series of uh, verification options you need to you know use in order to get your account um, verified and you know very much eligible for the grant donation all right you can decide to use the proof of humanity um, bright id idena um, pope or paup and then ens sms verification google um, verification and then twitter verification and facebook verification also now um i think much more easier options that you can easily use is this google verification and twitter now for twitter it's expected your account should be up to um at least 100 followers right so if you click on twitter it's going to pop up this and you are expected to click on send tweets now they want to be verify and be sure you're actually human so when you make this tweet when you come back it will be expected that you um like you see here now i've already done that tweet so you now put your twitter handle here once you put your twitter handle you now click on connect within split seconds it will connect and verify you're actually human you can do that for facebook as well all right and then sms verification as well and then um, the next step would be this id um, bright id verification right so when you click on bright id verification if you don't have the app depending on the device you're using either app uh, apple store that's if you're using an apple phone ios or android since i'm using android i had to use um, google play store so it's expected you download and then you click on connect all right so if after you've downloaded you'd have to um create an account for yourself on the bright id all right and then you can now go ahead with the verification um process okay now one thing i would uh, also add here is you're also going to be verified facially all right i'm going to drop the uh what's the word now the zoom link okay there are different um time um frames all right for the zoom um verification all right there are different uh, I'm, I'm, this is just how the uh bright idea looks like okay more of the user interface of the bright id so i was talking about the zoom um verification i think i'll go ahead to post the zoom verification link in the description below also so you can go ahead and you know do the verification all right so after you've done your zoom verification your trust score or your trust bonus would increase as well right uh, if, if you go through that process successfully ensure you stay on the call right for at least 10 minutes and follow up the instructions that the um, quadratic team will be given right when you're true with that within 10 to 20 minutes after the call has ended your um, account will be verified right so once it's verified if you go it would show on your uh, your app that your your bright id it would show verified right and then if you go check your score here also it would have increased by uh you know they stated up to 150 percent so it would have increased by 150 percent and once that is done hola i think you're ready for the donation all right so guys i'm going to be uploading um later on how you can also donate this particular um video was to show you how to get your account verified so you'll be eligible to do the donations and of course your show you'll be getting good returns for your donation thank you guys smart worker